Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to mod your Nerf Recon. Um, I've already unscrewed all the screws in it just to save time. There's two screws here and here on this black piece and once you unscrew those you can just pull it off, set it somewhere else. Um, all of the other screws are fairly obvious except for two that are on the front under the slide right here and back there. Um, once you unscrewed all of those, just a lift. And the shell should come apart. Um, if it isn't coming apart, then you missed a screw. Don't try to like pull the shell apart by force, because you're just going to break something. Um, here's the internals of it. Let me see if I can get a better view of those. There. Um, start by just pulling out the spring and the catch. That's this piece and the spring is obviously a spring. Do not lose the tiny spring that's on top of there because then the catch won't work. Next, just take out the trigger. Also don't lose the spring. Slide this tube out of the back. Um, yeah. Then you have two locks right here which you don't want. Just You can t lift both of, both of them out and throw them away. You don't want them. Save the t small springs if you want. I usually do. Um, and then at that point you can just slide this part back and lift out. Um, this is the only part that you really have to mess with. If you can see in there, you can't see all the way through. Hold on. Yeah, you can't see all the way through because the air restrictor is still in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a drill bit like this. I use a half inch spade bit, but it just has to be able to reach through the back down to the air restrictor. Um, yeah, this is not that long of a bit, like six inches. So basically just um, get a drill and drill this out. Or I've seen people use like a screwdriver and a hammer, which I think I've done before, but I really recommend the drill just because it's easier. So I'll be right back while I drill this out. Hey guys, I'm back. As you can see, I drilled all the way through because you can see all the way through. Um, now reassembly is fairly easy. Do you see this hole right there? You have to line it up with this little peg inside the shell, that gray piece. So you just put that on top of there and slide it forward until you hear that click when it's all the way forward. Um, next, take your plunger tube and do you see how there's one little knob right here that sticks off more? Um, there's also these two lines on both sides. You line those lines up with the grooves in the shell and have the little square right there. Have that square on the bottom. Just slide it in. Next, take your catch and put it right behind the tube in the little place that it has right there. Make sure the spring is up there, pushing up. So if I were to go like this, it would push back down. Next, take your spring and just slide it in. Um, make sure the spring ends right at the back of the gun. It doesn't go out further. And then take your trigger and put it in just where it goes. It's fairly obvious. Um, when you pull back on the trigger, it should push up the catch. I don't know if you can see that, but it is. Um, and so then after you do that, just take the other half of the shell and put it on top and just screw it back together, and you're done. Um, if you're having any problems with it, feel free to ask me um, how, what you should do. It's even better if you leave a video response because then I can actually like see what you're trying to tell me. Just so there's no confusion when you're talking about like the black piece. It's like there's a lot of stuff in the gun. But yeah, thanks for watching guys.